Welcome back everyone. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through the steps of how I created this dynamic page for a fake PlayStation landing page. Due to the nature of this project, you will certainly need to know your fundamentals in Figma. So first of all, I have all my asset images here, and what I'm going to do is add my set of colors so I can access them easier. Now that I'm done, I'll first create the wireframe for this page so I can know exactly what I'm doing. Now I can start creating my component. Let's first start with the library part. First, add your text and create a simple scroll bar by combining two rectangles. Create a separation with a line and finally, create a frame in the group. Create four 100 by 100 rectangles, round them. Add an image on top of them and make a union group for each. Personalize them. copy them, and slide them down. Let's create the search bar, and for that let's recreate it by using a frame instead, then add the text and the search icon. Let's move on to the most played games part. Take each rectangle and do a similar process as you did earlier. Then add your text. Finally, we can create the sliding image group.
First, copy the group, create a masking effect between the background and the rectangle, add a linear filling on top of the image. Add your characters and make sure they kind of overlap the background. Then you can personalize the rest to your liking. Now we can start prototyping. Take your search bar and create a component set. Make an active state, which is when he will be hovered, and a default. Modify the default by hiding the text and decrease the frame's length. Create a component set for the library group. First, slide the blue rectangle to the bottom. Select all the game groups and slide them up. For the most played game, copy this rectangle. Delete its fill and give it a stroke. Hide it behind the image and do this for each rectangle. Then create a component set And on the second, select both and slide them up a little bit. After that, select the stroke rectangle and increase its size. Go to the main page and start adding the assets to their respective places. Select those three rectangles, create three more copies of them, and by selecting the six of them, create a frame selection. By pressing the control button, resize it, 
and go to Prototype, Scroll Behavior Position and Horizontal. Lastly, create a frame on the main page, but make it a little bit bigger than the actual image scrolling frame so that when the clip mask is active, it doesn't cut the overlapped image. Add each image side by side. Then just follow me along.